Hey guys, after our sesh, it's been a couple weeks since I've worked on the Apache. And uh, so tonight I'm gonna try doing a few little things I need to button up before we get the 5.3 stuffed in here. So back to the back, the uh, boxing plates here. We got the front and back plates here. Those are, it's kind of hard to see right now, but ugh, right in there, those inner frame rails, those are what needs to get boxed in. Basically tying the front subframe and the back subframe together and uh, gives me something I can build the transmission cross member off of. So before I put this in, I need those in, build the cross member. Yeah, so got a couple brackets in there, kind of set up in there right now, but got a couple brackets in there that I need to remove, blasting out more rivets, the uh, noisiest tool in the world, the old impact hammer driver thingamajigger. I need to find some ear earplugs or earphones and then uh, we'll get underneath there. So a little crammed under here, located the muffs and I need to remove this bracket here. This was the old brake master bracket and e-brake pulley. Those gotta go and then we'll get our plates in place there. So let's get those off there right now. Um, you got your earbuds in. You may wanna cover your ears cause it's gonna get gnarly. Kind of awkward place underneath this lift here. Since I can't drive up or get up to those with the this bit, a little rivet punch, I'll knock these bottom ones out first and then see if we can't pry that off of there. So one. Still satisfying. wedged in there. I don't really have much for leverage under here. There. A little bit of a battle. These plates right here, I don't know how well you guys can see or not, but undersize them just a little bit so we can burn them on the top and the bottom. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so basically drag over the old metal caulker and get these things fused in. Oh yeah, they're gonna work out fine. So we got a set for the front and then we got a set for the back. Got everything tacked in place there. Not the prettiest. I'd do a little welder tuning, um, but we're good to go now. So I'm gonna start stitching this together. The gloves on, off of my neck. Try not to catch a bunch of sparks. It is getting a little crammed down here. Here we go. All right, guys, after our sesh again, uh, today's goal, get the front sheet metal off of the Apache. And uh, I hear Dane out there, so I'm gonna have him give me a hand. He doesn't know it yet. So I'm gonna get that off of there. And then we got the LS motor, we got strapped up. I need to round up the motor mounts. And I'm gonna swing it into position. I'll mock up the tail shaft, or the tail housing of the transmission, kind of get it setting where I need to and uh, we'll go from there. So see how it fits tonight, but I got stuff to shuffle as normal. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's do it. Probably need a hand. So these here, I'm just trying to avoid not shredding them up too hard on the cross members, but or on the control arms. But I can carry the front if like one of you guys want to get on the back of each side and just kind of, yeah. So like these corners right here, yeah, they kind of have to come out and lift up. Yeah. Nope. Just need some wiggling. Pull on it. Pull in. Pull arms up. 
pull in on the inner fenders maybe. I think they're hitting the shock. Got to pull back. There you go. How the fuck did both of you guys get this thing on here? You are in the hood. You think we, uh... just gotta come. Gotta come up. Gotta come up. Yeah. Just take it to the moon. There we go. All the way up there. There we go. Oh, that rust really just shaved so much weight off this car. <laughs> just, let's go outside with it for right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's nice and dry out here. Well, Currently. Once you're like, Forks. Yeah. At least it's better than when we pulled in the snow. Yeah. Wow. That is true. Thank you guys. Okay, I'll take it from here. Forklift talk. We got a replacement forklift. Was not great. But the guys made it right and got us a better one. So yeah, no more Clarky. Rassle this thing in there. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll round up the motor mounts for this thing, see if they'll even work. So we got the Billet Rideman Ranch motor mounts, and uh, they're kind of universal. They fit a little bracket you got to weld on. So um, I'll lift up this motor we have here, pull the rolly, rolly wheels off of it, and uh, put motor plates on it, and then. Yeah, my plan is to swing this thing in, figure out where the motor mount's gonna sit, where the motor's happy, and make sure it's not gonna uh, hang down too far, or whatever the case, and um, try to find its home so I can get those brackets welded in. So I'm gonna round up some brackets, I'll be right back. So these are riding the ranch motor mounts, these nice little billet pieces, way too nice for this truck, but, we were over there, and they had them, and uh, yeah. So I'm pressing these bushings in right now, and then we'll see if we can get them to work with this chassis. A few minutes ago, I don't know if I'm certified on that thing. Balanced. All right, we'll spread the forks out a little bit. That's my idea. <laughs> so the Rising Ranch motor mount kit comes with these LS based plates. And they got a little room to adjust them around, so we'll snug them up. And then these guys fall in here. Got little tabs to weld on the bottom once we find its home. See if it makes it work. I'm gonna grab some tools, get these off. These bolts feel like they're a little bit long. Like the last I put in, bottoms out before it hits, so. Yeah? yeah. Maybe I got some crud in the end of there or something. Where are you up? Yeah, just leave them loose enough to slide. And I can find their home. What's that? Yeah, so I'll swing it. I'm just gonna swing it in there and I'll block up the back for now. Build a cross member, all that stuff. Okay. Oh, those can still move. All right, so. What sides what? I'm just gonna start assembling these things loosely. Let me get some more half inch nuts so I don't burn up the nylocks. There's lots of movement in these things everywhere, so hopefully that'll be enough to get us the adjustment we need. That bolt's way too short. Cool. Turn them again. I 
Oh, there we go. I give you the right length bolt for the motor mount. That one looks long enough. Do something like that for now and then yeah. drop it in. See what we see. I don't like this, I can't see through it. Yeah, it's nice clear stuff in it. Spent too much time in the sun. Am I high enough? Dude, it's super nice. The operator, on the other hand, jerky. Easy does it. Man, no finesse. Looking back there. I know. Just take a gander. Yeah. What's that? The battery box is huge. It's trying to get centered in there. Oh, gotcha. It looks as if she went slide back some more. Interesting. Whoa, there we go. Operator error, sorry. Just give her a shove on the front. Neutral. Yeah. Uh, we had a little four by four chunk floating around here somewhere. What's that? Oh yeah, perfect. Dane's lifting up the tail of the tranny here. Kind of see, it's hitting the rack right there. So get that up out of the way. Now we can swing this engine in. Hopefully. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's right there. One more of those. Yep. 
going up. All right, looks like you're clear. I'm gonna bump it back just a touch. Maybe. No. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me lift it up just a hair. All right, see if we can push on that front of that just a little bit. I know it's close. Oh, it's like a half an inch, maybe. Uh, well, if we get a longer board on the jack, let's drop that down. I'll grab a board. Oh, God. Let's take this thing up. Size of, oh, jeez. That was transmission tunnel. Scared me a little bit. All right. Give it a shove. I think once it goes in, it'll come down. Yeah, let's bump it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> come on. So close. I know. Well, is the jack maxed out again? Take it up as much as we can and... Yeah, same. Like, come on. All right, got the back of the transmission shimmed up. Uh, we just, the stand is great because there's lots of room to, and places to stack things on. So we got some hard rubber shims. And uh, motors on that three quarter inch plywood piece. I'm gonna take the forklift off and then uh, should be sitting all by itself. I'll have to uh, brace it up on the bottom side there in case I air this thing up since it's sitting on the stand and not the chassis. But uh, see if I can get you guys down there. So. Under here, got the little shims in place. Um, so from here, I can slide it around side to side, you know, get placement. And uh, looks like my trans tunnel's pushed up. So I know it wasn't screwed down, but oh, hello. There's that. So it's hitting on the front side there. Just four is easy enough to modify. I'm not too worried about that. But um, really the front side where, where it's hitting, it's not gonna be able to come down anymore because um, of the oil pan and the cross member. Uh, I can bring down the tail of the trans a little bit, but I don't like it when the engines sit all crazy crooked. So that's not gonna work. So custom four, four pan it is. Tunnel, got Dane chilling over here. So yeah, next thing, get this thing centered in here and uh, get it all squared up. Uh, yeah, but I mean, good thing about these, there's tons of clearance in here. And because it's a truck intake, it helps take up some of that gap on the top of the motor. So hopefully I don't go back on this video one day and say, why did I leave that truck intake on? Or I knew I wasn't gonna leave that on. Definitely gonna replace it. I'm gonna leave it on for now. How about that? So, yep. I'm gonna pull a tape on this thing, see how square it is, and get back. Yeah, if I can get the other one to fit like that, then it'll be golden, but got a steering rack in the way here, but let's see. Spin that mount over. Oh, yeah. Definitely something Put all that room over there. You build one of these that. Match the contour. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. You're perfect. 
those little ones. Fingers crossed. If you this way, you can adjust the motor mount up and down. Yeah. This side of the well, fingers crossed this one works kind of. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode, I think. Uh, next step is to mock up some cardboard brackets for the motor mounts and wrap your head around the transmission mount and all that stuff. I'll bring you guys in on that, too. But uh, we'll make up some brackets, and I really want to make these nice billet motor mounts work. I don't know why, but they're nicer than anything else on here. So uh, looks like it'll clear everything there with the right brackets. So we'll throw them on the plaz, get some stuff cut out and get this thing in place. So, until next time guys, thank you. Hey guys, we're back, it's the next day. So motor is where we want it. We fabricated some motor plate brackets for it so we can use those billet motor mounts. Um, right now we need to figure out what we're gonna do with the transmission. So we're gonna fabricate a cross member out of DOM. Uh, we'll put that energy suspension bushing in place first and build off of that. So first step, we gotta figure out where it's going. So I'm gonna get this transmission um, pushing in place here, and then, uh, and then we'll get it figured out. So of course I didn't have all the hardware for it, and um, that was way too small. I, I don't know, maybe this is the right stuff, but I struggled a little bit. It's 7 16 just so you know, not 3 8 So right now I'm just looking at clearances behind the motor and in front for the core support. You know, we're gonna run that mechanical fan for right now. Um, there may be options to run electrical later, but I'm just trying to keep everything as simple as possible. So motor plates are in where we want them, steering linkage. I just wanna make sure I got good clearance around all the steering gear and all that stuff. So uh, once we're happy with that in place, we'll, we'll tack it in. So right now I am just tightening up everything, kind of hand snugging it up. And then um, we always like to add a, a, a washer in between the brackets and the bushings when we're welding them in. It gives a, a little bit of space for the metal to move around. Plus you don't want it so tight you can't get the motor plates in and out of it. So right now everything is kind of where we want it. We grab the welder, get these things tacked in place. And, uh, and then move on to that transmission cross member. So right now everything is good and uh, it's time to burn it in. Started off doing a couple tacks and you know, sometimes I can't help myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and burn in as much as I can get to on the front side of everything. Once the motor comes out, we'll finish welding everything in. Kind of hard to get in there too right now, but I want to make sure they don't fall off when we're moving stuff around or pulling the motor back out. So, assessing my welds they're mediocre at best they're no Rydman ranch welds that's for sure all right now we're down here transmission bushing is in place and yeah getting a game plan on the cross member i do have one that's been kicking around the shop for a long time it's kind of a universal cross member and in an effort to keep things as cheap as possible i am going to dig that out try that and we'll go from there So this cross member here is made by Transadapt and or Transdapt and it's very universal. The ends just kind of slide on, you cut the thing to length, you weld it in there. It does the job totally. It doesn't look great and um, but it works in a pinch. Um, so we're gonna try that first and see see how we like it. Right now, yeah, I'm pull that tunnel off. So transmission, 
It's definitely hitting the bottom of the tunnel right now. Hi, Dane. Bottom of the tunnel right now, so we'll have to do a little sheet metal work on that. Oh, a little max there too. All right, so right now I'm measuring up the, the, what I need to cut that transmission cross member to. Um, basically, I'll cut it a little bit on the short side so those ends slide in and I can adjust it out from there. So, pretty straightforward kit, really. And it's nice to have. And it's already got the cross member uh, mount there for the transmission. Cut about two and a half inches off each side. Not that it really matters, but uh, I gave it, give myself a little extra clearance so I can uh, you know, help center in that cross member in the transmission. So let's see how this thing fits. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna blast it first. That way, once it's in place, there we can weld it be nice and clean. So the transmission cross member itself was like rattle can paint on there so it came off real easy pretty much just blew off there but the end pieces the mount of the frame rails those were like powder coated or something they did not want to come off so i'll just end up grinding them off yeah so the ends are nice and clean i took these these end pieces there and just put them in the belt sander and just cleaned them off so get this cross member fit up in there we'll adjust the ends out to the frame and see how it fits this is the first time i actually fit this in there so i'm not sure what i'm in for plus with the dimple dies in the frame rail i don't want them to sit in there all weird either so taking a look seeing how they sit not really stoked on it it's the end pieces you can see they hang below the frame and uh try rotating them sideways as well spinning the whole cross member around the other way. I've tried a lot of combinations. This way fits the best if I were to cut the bottom half off and just use the top two bolts. But I don't know, not real happy with that. I think at the end of the day, the thing to do is just to build your own. And uh, we have tubing, we have a bender. And I was trying to convince myself here that this is just the way to go. And uh, you can see I didn't have my ground hooked up, so it wasn't welding. It was like it was meant to be. It was telling me, don't do it. Build your own. Yeah, yeah, I can't stand the look of this thing. It is driving me crazy. So I'm gonna rip this thing out. Yep, grab a piece, throw it in the bender, and uh, make it happen. Plus, on top of that, we needed more of a, a dip as well. Um, so I can get that center line in there of the frame rail rather than so low like it was before. So just grab some inch and a half DOM tubing here, bend a couple 45s in it, and, and uh, it's about a five inch drop total. So get that thing bent around so that it's sitting in the center of the cross member or the frame rails there, and then. We'll fabricate a transmission mount and then end pieces. So. Not really a whole lot to this. It's just measure it out and make sure it's kind of good. So cut it to length, just like the other one. And uh, it's easy to go too far on this bender. Yep, straighten that back out again. Looks like I'm building some gigantic handlebars. All right, so I got, yeah. Basically just saying that this old transdap tubing is not gonna work for the situation. I tried, I really did, but at the end of the day, I just, it needs to be right. And if we have the capability to do it right, then just do it. So save that trans transmission uh, cross member for another project, another day. But this one here, I'm just cutting the length. And then the next step will be getting Dane to drop some brackets for uh, the mounts to weld to the end, and then we'll bolt it to the frame rail. And uh, also, we have a, a bunch of templates on file from previous cross members and stuff that we've built, so shouldn't be too bad to draw it up, cut it out, and weld something together. 
All right, guys, this is the final video here. Uh, Dane wrapped up the transmission cross member on the bottom here, crawl under here, and it came out awesome. So, plazed up these brackets. I don't know, here, I'm gonna turn the light on. So, plazed up these little brackets here. So, we've got a three point connection here. Uh, this was the tube that we bent up here. And the last video, or the last section, I guess, of this video, and then the cross member. So, simple and easy. The motor can now sit on its own and uh, stoked on that. So motor is home and uh, stay tuned for our next move on this thing. I don't know what it is. We got lots of lots of stuff to do here. So I still got to do a shifter and modify the transmission tunnel. Yeah, I'm going to fit that sheet metal on there and probably fit the uh, radiator as well. So anyway, moving forward on this thing. And uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, look forward to the next episode. See ya.